wrong with the hell? Are you in here with us anymore? Can you show yourself again? There's this like metal pipe on the floor. Did you just knock that up? What the hell? Did you hit it? No, I, mean, I wasn't even near that. Did you? No. There's something here, bro. I'm telling you. But what was that noise, though? It was this. No, before that. I heard a noise before that. You heard a noise? Yeah, I heard a noise. It sounded like coming down, I don't know, this way or something. I'm thinking what we heard is just like scratching or something. I I can't even move from my jacket. What the heck is that? I think that's for like a suspended ceiling or something. Oh, bro, I got an awesome story to tell you. Awesome story from one of the main like volunteers who's been volunteering here for a year. Right. Well, for years. I didn't mean for a year, for years. Years. Waverly Hills is one of those locations where you may get scratched, you may get pushed, you may get hurt. Now I asked this volunteer, she was giving us a tour the very first time we were here, well, you know, a month ago, and I asked her, have you ever been hurt or scratched? And she told me there was this one time and it, it was really cool. She was somewhere at the bottom of a stairway. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, you! It smells bad, I'll be hit you too. I'm gonna walk over here, oh my breath. Wait, we're gonna walk down to the third floor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep telling you this story. This woman is here at the stairway. I, I don't know exactly where. I think it was probably one of the first floors or the first or second floor. And she's just standing in one spot and she gets pushed hard, like just pushed. Oh, wow. And she was in shock because she's worked here for years. And she was like, I've never had one of these spirits, you know, try to hurt me like that. As she's like, just kind of dazed, and really like in this confused state, she, you know, of course is like out of the way, like maybe four or five feet away. And a huge chunk of rock hits on the ground exactly where she was standing before. Get out of here. True story. This is one of the volunteers. Wow. I think her name was uh, Char Charlene or um, I think it's Charlene or uh, I have to go back. But see, you can see some of the, See the plaster right there? Yeah. Now there's really thick coats and that's, that has like a mesh in it. I mean, that's really, really heavy stuff. I mean, like a, a huge chunk of rock pretty much, but that fell exactly in the spot that she was standing. And then after, of course she was like, okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for pushing me. I mean, it literally happened like so seconds. So it was almost like trying to save her. Man. It was trying to save her. Oh, wow. So, I mean, she was, like I said, it happened really quick. Do you have any idea what floor that was? I think it was the first or second floor, and it might have been this stairway. Wow. I'll have to take you down there. I have another really cool story, too, that I'm going to share with you with the same woman. She had a, a pretty unique experience. Is this the third floor? That door? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the third floor. Wait, why is the door closed? I don't know. Is this the second one? Yeah, no, no, put your hand in there. What? It's like glass. I got it. Welcome. It's almost like you were trying to avoid this floor, bro. That was weird. You want to go to this? Let's go to this side. All right, no worries, man. Right, so James is outside. Over there. Pretty sure I heard something.
those are the original windows. Waverly Hills. I'm going to show you the newer windows in a second. Hey, James. Hello. We should spend the night here. No, I mean like sleeping bags. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Is that you? No. No, that was that was not me. I think that came from the room I was in. There's a lot of people that come and visit here. A lot of paranormal investigators. And some of them, sorry to say, they don't know what they're doing. And there's probably been a couple of them that have done something that weren't supposed to do up here. Yeah. Maybe some weird seances there's, there's and stuff. There's just, just such a freaking weird feeling here. I just can't get it. I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what, it feels way different than when I came here just a month ago. Which floor was it that we caught that door moving the first time we came here? Second floor. Second floor, okay. That was probably one of the coolest things yeah. that, that I've ever caught. And you know what? I found something really cool about that very same area. Really? I gotta share it with you when we go down to the second floor. And I have a picture. I have a picture of some that is going to scare the crap out of you. Oh. And I'm going to share it with you. I shared it in the video that I made here. But yeah, um, I was mentioning in my first video. I mean, obviously, there's probably like a couple different parts to this video. But I was here a month ago. What's in there? It's like a stairway, like an outdoor stairway. But yeah, I was here about a month ago. Filmed like three or four different parts of a video here. And I used a wireless microphone setup that picked up this really strange it was like a high pitch like a like the whole video dude i mean I, we were here like six or seven hours the whole thing was was like that oh, wow. i tried to use some like audio software to clean it up and i just could not clean it up it was terrible there was things that i caught that night with my ears of course because my camera didn't pick it up and it was like everything was ruined so this is technically a reshoot but in itself it's a completely different night you come here a hundred times yeah different things are always going to be different i mean the very first time that i came here is with, is with james we caught this door like opening it in like it opened in a way like you could hear the like the doorknob you could see it moving but yeah i have to share something really creepy about that floor you know what I'm seeing a lot of, like all over the place? So I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of graffiti with the the numbers 502. See like 502 over there, 502. This is a different staircase though, for sure. This one doesn't go all the way to the fifth floor. No. That says hell. You wanna go down to the second floor? Um, we still have more to go on the third floor, no? Okay. Or do you wanna go on the second, I'll go on the third. <laughs> you um, wanna stick together? Do you wanna? Good. Yeah. Let's, uh, Go ahead. We can. I mean, we stick together too. If you're a little scared. I'm not scared. Sure. Yeah. Are you gonna be okay, bro? Uh. <laughs> don't <laughs> jinx it. All right. Well, call me if you need to. All right. All right. I think I'll be all right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'm gonna be okay. I might get lost, but I'm gonna be okay. But sometimes I feel like I'm James's C and I Omar. No, you definitely are. <laughs> But, I mean, that's cool. I always want to make sure you're safe. Many times, but I will be careful. I mean, I'm in a combined... I was up here not too long ago, and there's no holes in the ground. Like, you'll... Just don't wander off over that ledge over there. what we caught on the floor above us. Like, I don't know what to expect on here. So, good luck to you too, bro. All right. I'm going to share that photo. There's a really strange photo okay. of where we caught that door moving. Uh -huh. I'm going to save that. I'm not going to go over there until you come down to the okay. second floor. Don't. So, because I want to share that with you. But I'm going to explore. Alrighty. Well, this is the second floor. I am going to take you back that way in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do it once uh, James comes down here from the third floor. Waverly Hills is one of those places where I'm not sure if it has anything to do. I'm, it probably does with the windows being open, but 
there's definitely a lot of cold spots. But I don't know. I've been here in the summertime before, too. And you feel it. Like, it'd be warm in a certain area and then cold in another. <gasps> Who's there? Is that you, bro? I don't have the brightest light right now. What my camera's showing is a couple of notches brighter than what my human eye can see. There's somebody over there? It kind of looks like a like a little boy or something. It's kind of weird. There's a little boy ghost that people have witnessed. I'm gonna spend a little time right here. I know a lot of you want to, you know, get into exploring, maybe paranormal investigating. If you're going to get into paranormal investigating and, you know, using gadgets and equipment, things like that, just a word of caution. I've witnessed people that didn't know what they were doing start getting involved with things of that manner and losing their life over it. If I were you, and you like to go to creepy places, just do that. If a place is haunted, you're not gonna need all these gadgets. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. For me, personal conviction, God's been kind of showing me to not use a spirit box anymore. When I started making content, exploring places, you know, that were haunted and places with history of the paranormal, I never used spirit boxes. I never used any kind of gadgets. I was really just there because I was intrigued. You know, I love hearing anything when it when it comes to history i love anything history related especially if it's got some creepy backstory behind it i mean it's it's very interesting to me and i know it's very interesting to some of you so i am trying to get back to my original roots of just going to places documenting things kind of share the history you know of a place and maybe what people have encountered in some of these places you know without really getting too technical and using any sort of equipment. I started out just using my camera, having a light, maybe taking pictures with my phone, and I'm gonna stick to that. In case you didn't know, I do have two other channels. I have a vlog channel, the Omar Gosh Vlogs. You know, if you wanna get to know me a little bit better as a person, I do a lot of random videos there, sometimes behind the scene videos to these videos. I also have a live streaming channel. I ain't gonna lie. I, I didn't do a whole lot of live streaming on for a couple of months, but I have been going live there. I mean, today I went live three times, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to interact with me, I do leave those live streams up on the channel. It's just for live streaming. Sometimes I give you little sneak peeks at locations that I'm at, and I do some like raw, you know, uncut type videos. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. It depends if I have an internet signal at all, but a couple days ago, I was at a location where I was live streaming, and I was just kind of sharing some of my personal convictions on that so if you want to understand a little bit you know why i feel the way i do about spirit boxes make your way to that video it's something uh 
has to, I think it was called Octagon Hall. Check that video out. It's on Omar oh Gosh Live. But what I was trying to say is when it comes to any sort of ghost hunting, it takes a lot of time. I've been to some places sometimes for 15 to 16 hours from daytime to nighttime trying to capture something. So, you know, not all the time are you going to catch things. Uh, I have plenty of videos where I've never caught anything. And I'm always trying to give a reasonable explanation as to, you know, if I see like a door moving on its own, or maybe if I see something dark move like on the wall, like a shadow, you know, so I did that earlier, you know, in this video. So not everything is paranormal, but I'm also not excluding that it's possible that it could be. room just kind of looking at the hallway over there sometimes it's good to just be silent I don't hear nothing That toilet has seen better days. I could promise you that. James was supposed to come down here, meet me. I was just trying to kill some time and sit around and see if I heard or saw anything. What's good, bro? Uh, just chilling. So there goes James. He said during his live stream, he was live streaming for like a good hour. Somebody kept commenting and sending him like a super chat. And they said something about seeing a hand on either my live stream or his live stream. He shows you. He shows you live stream. I'll tell you what, it is a lot spookier when you're just walking around by yourself. Dude, dude, really, I was getting like anxiety. <laughs> you were? Point. Yes. <laughs> I was starting to freak out because I heard it. Bro, you weren't. He's All lying. Sudden, this like, is like, he's like the most savage dude. He, he went down, you actually went to the body shoot by yourself? Yeah, it started lagging so I left, but. Oh, so you didn't make it down there? No, but okay. I was on this floor, the second floor, live uh -huh. streaming, and we're at the end of the hallway, all the way at the end there, and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, no way, Omar, are you there? And you weren't there, bro. No, no. Like, legit. And then after that, I just started having anxiety. Like, something was gonna, I started walking this way. Like, I was like, something's gonna pop out. Looking at every door. Oh my God, bro, seriously, I was having a heart attack. I was trying to be cool because I was on live stream, but like, inside, I was like, uh. So the very first time James and I were here, we, we were in this room right here. I can't remember what it looked like a couple years back. I mean, it looked similar, but I don't know if they still have these oh, I windows. I remember exactly where remember? I was standing, bro. I was standing right here, and you were standing right over there. All of a sudden, we just hear, <laughs> and we weren't even recording, remember? No, we weren't recording We weren't first. recording. And the door, I don't remember, what, was it closed and started opening, or was it open and it started to close? Um, at first. At first, I think it opened, and then I hurried up and turned the camera on. Yeah, me too. And then it closed. I just remember you going, no way, yeah, oh my god, what out. the f***, what the f***. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was cool. That freaking door was just opening right now by itself, I swear. All by it freaking self. Oh, <gasps> what the f***, what the f***. 
What the f reason I was freaking out so much though was because there was nobody out there and there was not one gust of wind. I mean like the door opened and then it closed. I caught some of it. I, I caught either it opening or it closing, but it did the opposite before I pushed record. So funny story about this. I don't know if I had told James, there's a window over here and uh, there wasn't a window. I think at the time and there was a woman who is a volunteer here her sister was here visiting and her sister took the picture of her and her cousin and it was right in, like right here in this area and when they looked back at the picture it wasn't a, a digital picture so this wasn't photoshopped or anything this is an actual legit photo film picture when they look at the picture that was developed there was a woman standing between the two women behind them. I know what you're thinking. Okay, well maybe it was a reflection. Perhaps it was. But here's the thing. From where they took the picture, there was no glass. It was like this. It was like this. It was open. So there was no way that it was a reflection of anything. I have that picture. I'm going to share it with James so he could put it in his video. Here's that picture. Check it out. Do you want to start making our way to the body shop? I'm excited. Let's do that. I was already in there. So I'm so excited about the body shoot because the last time we came here, we literally like we were running out of time and we were down there for like 10 minutes. Like I was so upset about that. So, so how do we get to the body shoot? It's over here. It's crazy because like it's cold and it's just <gasps> I told you, that door moves, bro. That door moves. Somebody out here? There's nobody out here, bro. All right, look, though, man. I'm not gonna discount that the wind didn't do that. Like, that, that it's possible. It's possible with the, it's possible the wind did that. Can you do it again? Can you make that door open? Go for it. Come on, use your energy. Man, I don't want to take orders. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Do you think like asking things to do things is the same as using a spare box? Now you're really getting Or maybe, to, maybe I'm know. thinking a little too much. Uh, no, you're not thinking too much. I know exactly what you're saying. Okay, okay. Um, but that's a, that's a conversation for another time because that's okay. a debate right there. It is, it is. Yeah, we'll have to discuss that later. I mean, this is just personal conviction. Personal conviction. <laughs> uh, we'll start opening again. Dude, I keep not believe that actually just happened. Uh, I think it's a little gust of wind came and opened it. first floor mm -hmm. and they said that there's a spirit that will go home with people that's down there no I don't remember yeah, that you don't remember that I don't remember bro there is a spirit that Probably. has been known to go home with people okay well we're definitely praying before we leave before we leave this property do not let us forget in case I forget In case you're wondering why this looks so different compared to the rest of Waverly, this was actually a haunted house attraction at one point. That goes to the body shoot. That's what I yeah, but here, I'll, I'll, let, yeah, we'll go in there in, in a second. I want to show you the area where people have encountered. It's like a, a man spirit, and I hear he's kind of a jerk. 
That's it's not my words, okay? It's not my words. You can see there's some really cool art yeah. on the walls here. They might be taking this stuff down actually. Since they're not gonna do the Halloween thing anymore. Yeah, they didn't have the Halloween thing last year. Now James wasn't here for this, but when I was here, they were filming a movie of a motion picture here. I guess there was some uh some delays and when when we came so they actually they, they let us stay like just a little bit longer which was really really generous of them because they felt bad because of the 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 mess and like all the it, it wasn't even messy but there was a lot of um like tripods around and um storage supposedly it's a horror martial arts movie so be on the lookout for a movie that is a martial arts horror movie you can see like the setup. Way too quiet in here. Way too quiet. It's really creepy down this way though. It was so different when we came here a couple years back. Isn't there like a morgue or something? Oh, what is this? Look at this, man. This is cool. This is awesome. You notice that a bunch of these rooms down here have these stairs that go up to these exit rooms? Does that actually take you outside? I think it just goes outside, yeah. I think they may have done a haunted attraction. Like it kind of looks like. <gasps> Bro, oh my god. Oh. Oh. No, I just, that face freaked me out. I thought there was somebody looking at us right now. Dude, oh, look, you, you don't see that face? Oh, yeah, now I do. Woo. So I thought that was like oh, a, I thought that was a window. Oh, I thought that was a oh, window, bro. Oh, bro, no wonder you freaked Woo. out. That freaked me out, too. Oh, my what the hell? Dude, it's not going to spooky, though. All right, this is the spooky room over here. Now, investigators will come in here and hang out for... Several hours. There's the elevator right there. And this was the original front entrance of the Waverly Hills Sanitarium. And that was the that was the front door right there. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro, you're gonna want to see this, bro. Come get come, come 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 come. Now I know that there's some history about this safe, but look what's on the ground. Is this, bro? What is this? Set rule, evil crib. Oh god! Right, Why are you walking on it, man? You walk in here for ten minutes. It looks like some sort of spell or something. Evil? Oh, I should not be in here. I feel lightheaded, bro. That was a bad idea, I think. I just wanted you to see it. I want you to go in there and well, all of a sudden, walk over it. I was, well, I was fine all of a sudden. It just felt super light in it. There is something. I remember them telling me something about this room, the safe room. There, there was something. Bro! Oh, what? Bro! What? What? Bro. Okay. You're going to think I'm losing my mind. I just seen a freaking hand in that mirror. Bro. What? No, 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 no. I'm not losing a my hand? mind. Bro, I mean, you can't see well, so Bro, I mean... Unless it reflected your hand, I seen, like, a black... It was like this. It almost waved at me, dude. Bro, that trips me the hell out. That was... Bro, is there something? That's a mirror. Yeah, well, the mirror's pointed at that thing, too, but All I All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I got kind of bad vibes in here. Bro, I got really bad vibes. He was, like, riding on these mirrors. They say that mirrors are portals. Have you heard that before? Yeah. And there's... Couple mirrors down here. James is really good at making me almost poopy my pants. <laughs> I did that on live stream, it was kind of funny. Oh, bro, is that like a coffin? What is that? Yeah. That's like a baby coffin. Really? Either that or it's something that they store people's ashes and they like bury it. I've seen those in like funeral homes. Now, one thing about Waverly Hills 
because there was so many thousands of people that were passing away at an alarming rate of tuberculosis that they didn't want to trouble some of the other people recovering and, and actually getting healthier. When people would pass away, they didn't want to see them rolling out a bunch of dead people all day long. I mean, they were dying left and right. So when somebody passed away, they were very quiet about it, very secretive about it, and they ended up building this uh, this chute, this body chute. They say that this body chute is extremely haunted, and I will tell you, it's got an off feeling. Oh, look right here. This is the morgue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, this doesn't look like a morgue that would be able to handle thousands upon thousands of people dying. That's another reason they had to have the body shoot. Didn't you go inside this and like oh, lay down this? in it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Do that. Again? Did I do it last time? Look, this is where. Yeah. yeah they had they had like dead people. All right, roll me out, man. You wanna get in there? Nah, I'm out. Oh, no. Nah. Wait, this is a... Uh, I don't think it goes out. Like, you might break it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably would. I did the yeah, same. Gonna hold me. Oh, look. This is how they brought bodies down. There was a separate elevator. They would bring them in here and see this is right next to the body chute, which we're going to go there in a second. So it was, it was very secretive because they didn't want... The other patients like getting upset seeing uh, i mean and it makes a lot of sense if you're recovering or you know trying to get healthy from a very new disease a pandemic if you will of that time a terrible one that was killing people i mean they had to think about it they were making special hospitals just for this pandemic and that's what this was i mean i wouldn't want to see somebody dying of the disease that i have and i'm trying to get healthy in essence it was good what they were doing they were doing good because they didn't want people getting discouraged and thinking that their life was going to end or possibly end and Bro, you know how many bodies have been in this thing? lots you know how many bodies have been this way uh yeah you know give or take over fifty thousand. 